Hey guys, welcome to yet another tutorial about WPF applications. And this time around, I'm going to show you some designing techniques that you need to know and you need to understand to create very good and acceptable WPF applications. Okay, so I'll just show you what this window looks like. You see a very basic window over here. This is the WPF application that we created last time around. And you will see that it is a very basic uh, Windows 7 window. So I don't need that uh, functionality to be provided to me like that. And there's a reason that I don't want my window to be generated from the OS. Um, WPF, whenever you generate a window, WPF will take the operating system's window and then lay over it its own designing elements and it will present you the window. You don't want to keep it like that because different operating systems render the w uh, window differently so your windows 7 application will look different and your application in windows xp will look different and in windows server it will look like shit so all what you need to do is you need to take out that functionality let it generate the window from the os obviously but you don't want that uh, minimize maximize and title bar up there so all you need to do is there are two ways to achieve this uh, you can write here in the window tag as you'll see over here I'm writing a property which is known as the window style you'll find it over here and in that window style I'll specify none because then it will not take the border or the title bar from the operating system and you can also specify this property by going into properties and you'll find it in the common uh, section of the grouped properties and you'll find it over here S having none single border 3d border and tool window so set it to none and I'll just show you how my window looks now you see there's no uh, border to it I mean there's no window style or window now it's totally different it looks different and uh, what you need to do is you need to add functionality to minimize maximize and close so this can be done very easily you can either add an icon or you can add a button like in our case I'm gonna add a button I'm gonna set it over here I'm gonna change its dimensions to really small now as you can see over here the name has been generated as beat our button one I'll just change it to BTN close uh, and I will also change the content as one singular X and I'll make the button small so that it represents uh, uh, our closing of the window okay beautiful now all you need to do is associate the click event generate a new event handler for the click event as you'll see over here click and btn close underscores click is the function that will be called upon the click of that particular button and that function is present in the dot cs file you'll see over here btn close underscore click object sender event routed event arguments e okay so there are two ways that you can do this the most simple way is this dot close and now you run the project and you'll see it closes the window fantastic but does this serve your purpose uh, throughout the application I wouldn't say it does this dot close will take the object of that particular class that is main window and it will close it now sometimes you need your main application which has a close button to end the application whatsoever that is to kill the entire application now that functionality can be provided with this particular line of code I wouldn't say that you use this in all your X's but when you have the main window like the parent window and it has an X or the close button this is the functionality that it should provide it should kill the application and once it gets killed the child entities are killed as well so for that you need to write down app app dot current current will find the current instance of that particular application dot shutdown shutdown will shut down the application not your computer don't worry so I'll just show you the difference now actually I cannot show you the difference because there's only one window over here and now I click on X it shuts down the application itself now these two are very close I would say this dot close will close your window and if it's the main application it will close it but it does not guarantee that the application is shut down there may be a process a very rare opportunity but there may be a process which might still be running 
app.current.shutdown will make sure that all the processes for that particular application are killed and the application is shut down. So make sure that you have a borderless, windowless window and you also know the difference between this.close and app.current.shutdown. So thank you for watching and please do leave your comments, shares and likes and uh, if you have any if you have any suggestions and if you have any uh, things that you need to ask you can obviously leave a comment and ask me about and we'll see what we can do about it. So thank you for watching and have a great